Well, we got a, I wouldn't call it a pounding last night, probably four inches, maybe five. Almost not enough to plow, to be honest with you, but I put this on trickle last night, or I should say I put the tender on the battery. And I've decided what I'm going to do here. And, man, that light's still red. Okay, so that battery was dead, dead. And But there should be enough juice. It's been about 18 hours. There should be enough juice to at least roll this over and get it backed out so I can get this thing fired up and get it pulled out and lightly, lightly plow. I How much of it I'm going to... I'm gonna video, I don't know. Um, this should be good for another go round. It is starting to discolor. That's a tall tail sign. That's why I don't like the metal ones. A lot of you guys that run in lines, you'll put the metal ones on there. You can't see in there to, to know. I mean, what do you do? Just wait till the tractor quits starting or running properly and then change it? It's just not me. I'm a visual guy. But yeah, we're gonna get the cubby, the 55, 55 cubby fired up and uh and get this pulled in tighter to the m and pulled up further so it doesn't get snowed on and blown on it's kind of like it is now oh no willy walking john buggery Well, it's the next day. And that tender just wasn't enough, fast enough, to get done what I needed to get done quick enough. So I put the big box on it. I actually left it on there all night, two amp. I'm okay with that for up to 24 hours on a super dead battery. Um, but what I wanna do now is put the tender back on it and see if I can at least get a green light out of that battery or a blinking green light, which means it's 80% charge, so yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, that light's still red. So, even having that on there all night, it didn't. I don't know, maybe the battery shot. I see it's got the little bit of snow covering it. I'll check uh, how old it is. I mean, I don't know what you guys get out of a battery, even with tenders on them. Sometimes I get three years, maybe four at the outset, but. Then they go bad. I mean, it just, they don't make anything like they used to. And uh, I found this piece and I should have it within, within the week. I call it a floating clevis. I think it's a flexible clevis, but it, it's really nice to have, you know, and it's the original piece. It's not one dad made or mom made or Mike the machinist made. It's original and it'll go on there. And it'll work. As somebody asked me in the comments, I, I, for the life of me, I don't know why somebody would build a shed and not close both ends of it. What a pain in the butt to have to deal with doors. You know, the whole premise be, behind having your tractors under cover, not, under, not beside walls. It's always under cover. You never hear anybody say, oh, did you get your tractor beside a wall? No, it's always under cover. Because the only thing you're really stopping the thing that destroys a tractor is rain. It's water. It's not a little bit of powder. Like you see a little bit of powder on top of the sheet metal there. That that don't do jack squat to it. But perpetual rain, half inch one time, inch and a half next. I mean, it just destroys your, your electronics. I mean, especially magnetos, they have just about a zero tolerance for water. So it's always undercover. Not, did you get it beside a wall or behind a door? And there's a reason for that. You're protecting your machines from water. Lots and lots of water, buckets of it. All right, well, it's been another hour and I can't take it anymore. I wanna see, even with the red light, is there enough juice in this thing after I killed it? What I did, I left that positive cable on the battery and it back drained on me, so yeah. I shut her down. Let's see. Let's get this unplugged. All right. And 
do. And I'm looking at that battery date. We're looking at... Huh, they didn't mark it. Nice. Supposed to. 850 cranking amps. Zero degrees. But either way, usually they notch them. Especially for how do you... How do you uh, validate the warranty if you don't date it uh, let's put this positive on there and this is going to end too um temporary fix i did buy a shut off it's on the way and uh so i'll just have this hooked up to a i don't know a separate terminal and then when i'm done with the tractor i'll just flip it off with my middle finger uh -huh. all right there should be enough connection there Let's go around the back, Jack. I should probably make sure the gas is on. Yeah, it's on. It's on. Pies on. All right. Flip the switch. Handshake. And let's see what we got. It ain't sounding good. Choke off. I did put uh, five more gallons in there. There should be about six gallons. These Super C tanks are 11 gallons. I got another five gallons to put in. I'll probably put another four and a half. And I added uh, dry gas and sea foam. I just figured let's run it through that carburetor, dry the tank out because it was low. And who knows how long it was low, but it was low, and I can hear some skippity doo dah going on off. And I'm probably going to change that alternator out. There is a respectable chance, and I'll throw a meter on it, but there's a respectable chance I'm not charging right. So I don't know, you know, a lot of times guys feel like the sale will be ruined if they tell you. The battery shot and it's just just not the case i mean the work he did to it was enough for me to buy it the engine and the clutch so anyways let's get this thing back out of here and you raise them rear ends up with 30 weight <laughs> it's a little little different story than high tran This little shit handle right here, suicide knob, it's metal, so it adds to the coldness. All right, let's go third. Drive around a loop. All right. Pull it right here in front of the barn ski. Let her idle. I don't know if that amp gauge works or not it's slightly off zero so i don't know let me let me rev up and see if it changes that didn't really move but i don't know i'm gonna tell like say i'm gonna test that alternator out and see what i need to do let's get this fired up actually you know what i should probably i don't know what do you guys think does that filter look bad enough to change? How, how bad do you guys let yours get? Oh, uh, we got water again back in the back in the sediment bowl. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna take a sediment bowl off, clean it out, get the water out of it, and then uh, change this out. Think about working on a cub with these is they do get in the way of, of your reach. So we gotta fire this sucker up and get them out of my way so I can clean that sediment bowl out. Let's go a little choke at first. There we go. No 
muck messing around there, boys. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much out of my way. Don't need it getting hot on me. Did it? No, it didn't. Somebody was like, I can't believe you still got water in that thing. After putting two things of heat in there. Well, you didn't flush your tank out with a garden hose and water. Bottom line, there's just elements left over in there. I don't care how careful you are. You know, you leave you leave a pint of water in your tank collectively, and it's gonna be a minute before you get it out of there. Well, it don't take a genius to figure out that the tank ain't perfect, but I've had tanks that are worse and I was able to run them out of there, and yeah, that went into a bucket, a non-existent bucket. Just wiping it out. I mean, yeah, the tank was rusty. There's no doubt about it, but it's clear enough and clean enough, and I'm, and I'm every time I fill it and run it, it gets a little bit cleaner. You ain't getting cleaner than that. And I'm here to tell you, before 2023 is over with, I'll point to that and I'll make a point to show you that it's finally clean. All right. Get this sucker off there. It's easier to use a nut driver, but I am fresh out at the moment. I don't know. Maybe a lot of you guys would still, still run this. Um, Days like today, it's about, I don't know, it's pushing 50, to be honest with you. I like to get all this stuff done ahead of time, so I'm not doing it in the middle of a blizzard. That blizzard video took off. I didn't expect it. That's the weird thing about YouTube, man. The videos you think are going to go big, they don't, and then the vice versa. It's off colored, that's for sure. I don't know, I see some of you guys wearing like black surgical gloves. I don't know how you do it. I gotta feel what I'm working with. No matter what it is. Hey, one thing, <laughs> that filter was in there. Yeah, that's, that's what I call dirty. There's a lot of crap that would have been. Yeah, you know, that's, the, that's the upside. A lot of guys would have turned it around like that, let the dirty crap run down to the good side. Not me. Like I say, these have gone up quite a bit, the 3003s. And uh, I used to get them eight, nine bucks, and now they're about 15. rebuilt carburetor on there is just running like a top man and this is going to keep it running like a top that'll do it now put the bowl back on well as the bowl fills up the tractor runs well, there it goes let's go to the other side here Okay, now the filter's filling up. Yeah, we were just running off what was left in the carburetor. Yeah. <laughs> we timed that just right because what was in the carb just ran out. And we just got more from the filter, so good to go, yo. Clean everything. Yep. everything clean we get a blizzard man we're ready to roll do 
now is I take my rag and I just watch that bowl. You know, it might might need a half a turn tighter on the nut. Looks tight, but doesn't hurt to watch it. If there's even a slight drip out of that, I'll give it a half or a quarter turn tighter. But that's been a good bowl. A lot of them, the gaskets go bad. You can't you can't get them tight for nothing. Yeah, that's clean. Now, granted, I haven't got it out and ran a snot out of it for an hour, hour and a half, like I will once I plow. But yeah, I'm satisfied with that. Time to fill her up and go fill up the Super C. Yeah, I think I can back her right in there. Yeah. And still have the ability to hook the tender up and this and that to all three tractors in a row. Um, that's a really good battery on there and charging system. The M got a complete money makeover. Carb, um, distributor, um, electronic ignition, starter, new wiring new battery i mean that thing got some serious love that was my first farm all tractor uh and it really got the channel going that's a 1945 farm all m schwartz front end yeah this was this was the original on the channel four years ago and uh i don't know let me let me back her in and see how it works or don't Well, if I'm going to make this work, that attachment, that toe attachment's got to come out of there. It's going to give me an extra foot and a half, and that's my difference. So, pull her back out and get that thing off of there. Well, there you go. Seven under cover, not beside a wall, not behind a door, under cover. Well, look what the cat drug in. We'll just have to take a good look. A brand new battery box to go there. Now, a betting man says this doesn't quite fit in that box. Uh, you need a group 22 12 volt to fit in there. And, uh, I'm guessing this might be what 25 something like that. But this will be one way or another. This is getting traded in on one that fits in that box in the bush. And we're going to get this electrical system all squared away. Little ballast resistor. 
it's even got a little paint on it been through war and back at least it's easy access these tractors are easy to work on the m is easy to work on the h this little sucker here <laughs> i mean you're cramped you know there's a lot of stuff to take off to really gain access to it again the tank and the hood it's all one piece you know you think oh smaller is easier but really it's it's not so but either either one piece at a time and it actually did cost me a dime i think i paid 65 bucks for that that new box but that'll be nice it'll be right have a lid come with the hardware and everything so, yeah that's what we do farm on friday and by the way there's three more and even ten let's go let's grow we don't go slow just because it's december boom